everybody, it's Stephanie. In the last video I made about my Decomesh bow wreath, I mentioned my Halloween wreaths. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you guys about those. Uh, this is the wreath that I have on my front door for Halloween. <clears throat> the little centerpiece is actually a bow with a skull. I know this is kind of scary looking, but it's Halloween and it's fun. But anyway, um... We, we decorate for Halloween because we really enjoy it. We used to throw parties for our daughter when she was a little bit younger. And we have a lot of decorations accumulated from that. But anyway, back on to my wreath. Uh, this middle part here is actually a bow. It looks like leather material. It's actually like the pleather. So it's really nice. Uh, I actually paid a lot for it more than I'd like to admit. It was $20, but I just thought it would look so good in the center of this wreath. This wreath is a grapevine wreath. Anytime you need to make a wreath, the Dollar Tree does sell wreaths. And I made a Halloween wreath with my mom from one of their little grapevine wreaths. But they're small. <clears throat> if, <clears throat> if that's all, excuse me. If that's all you want is a smaller wreath, they're perfect for that. But anytime you need a grapevine wreath, always check with the thrift store. I got this grapevine wreath for probably less than two dollars and it um i actually spray painted it black i know i know you can't tell behind all the flowers but i actually spray painted it black and these little roses the purple the black little spider embellishments um this little black floral spray these they they all came from the dollar tree this wreath probably has about three stems of those black and purple roses um, and as you can see I've got some little crows they came from the Dollar Tree too this year the crows at the Dollar Tree they have feathers but they're also kind of sparkly they're cute too but I actually like these that are all solid feathers um, all I did was hot glue the flowers in place the little spiders this little guy over here I thought I added a cute little creepy touch. He came from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I'm outside. I'm sorry about the traffic. But he came from the Dollar Tree. They sell a little pack of a, a skeleton garland in there for a dollar. I think you get four little skeletons on it. And I thought that'd be a cute little touch to add. And going on down, this right here, these actually, uh, they came from a a store called Fred's and they're actually for curtains but I thought that'd be a neat embellishment to have hanging down on the bottom there's the Halloween wreath on my door that's something that I made three years ago um, I've also made one for my mom it's not quite as scary I used black and red roses on it and it does have the crows on it but it doesn't have the skull in the middle so I actually made one for her that she hangs uh, on her garage door she decorates a little bit I always get her in the spirit to decorate but anyway it's just something I enjoyed making it's inexpensive to do and I just wanted to share with you guys because I said that I would and these I also made these there's one on each side of my door Basically, all it is is the deco mesh from Walmart. One roll made two of these bows, and the bows are real simple to make. All you need is the deco mesh and some uh, pipe cleaners. And the purple ribbon came from the Dollar Tree last year. I think that's three or four rolls of it that I made a larger size bow out of. But the Dollar Tree does have some Halloween ribbon this year that's also really neat. I think. The one that drew my eye the most was black and white, but I like this purple because it matches the roses that I have on my wreath. Now going on into the house, <coughs> you might have heard my kitty meow, and I don't know, he was out on the porch. Puppies, little puppies waiting on mama to come in. No puppies. I have a lot of stuff out for Halloween and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. I actually started a Halloween indoor kind of 
little bitty tour and my batteries went dead and I need to make a part two to it so I hope y'all are interested in that it's, it's going to be coming up but this is the wreath I also mentioned in my other video that I made and uh, you ladies out there that shop at Walmart you'll know this part here this back part came from Walmart it was back when they first started selling that type of wreath so it was nine dollars and some change um uh, i believe now they're twelve dollars and some change they've actually went up but this one was less expensive than some of the others because it didn't really have a whole lot with it it had this cute little sign in the middle that said trick or treat and i've added some things to it i have some nightmare before christmas stuff in the house that i decorate with and i just thought this was cute um so I added some stuff that, um, this, you know, that kind of theme related. This, for you guys that know, is Jack Skellington's bow tie. And my daughter actually dressed up like him. She's actually been him a couple of years for Halloween. But anyway, this was part of her costume. And I just took it. And it's, it's safety pin on the wreath so we can take it off as we need it. Um, all the other little cute embellishments. They were already on the wreath, like those spiders and pumpkins. The Dollar Tree portion of this is these. They're felt. They still sell them. This is green. This is orange. I've bought them in red also. The Dollar Tree still has them. They're over in the kitchen section because they're actually... Um, my brain's not... Coasters. They're coasters and they still sell them over in the kitchen department of walmart but they were filled and i thought hey i can add some nightmare before christmas stuff to my wreath because i already had saw these pictures online and i'll talk about this pretty often decorating in your house when you're on a budget if you don't have the money to buy posters or signs or things that you're interested in or that you like as long as an image isn't copyrighted you can print it out um uh, if you want it to look nicer, you can photo print it out. I always have coupons for Walgreens. Um, actually, two of these designs come on. A, I was able to print them on 4x6. There's two and there's another two. So I was able to print both of those for $0.10 cents a piece. And Walgreens always offers photo finishing coupons. Or you can get some off of Retail Me Not. Anytime you need to go buy anything or have pictures done, I always check with Retail Me Not first. It's a very, very cool website that always offers all kind of coupons. But anyway, that's just something that you can do if you don't have a lot of money and if you want to add something. If you're not very good at drawing, like I'm not, my husband and my daughter are very artistic and great. I hope to make videos showing off some of the things they've done for me and for their self. Because they're great at that. But I can't draw. So I saw these little little faces online. This is Jack. This is Zero. This is Sally. And this is Oogie Boogie. And I just thought that would be cute to add to my wreath. Because like I say, I have a few other Nightmare Before Christmas related things. Nothing I have in my house is really scary. It's all kind of cutesy. But I just thought this would go along well with it. Now I don't have it outside because these are photos. And even though my porch is covered... I just don't keep this one outside. I keep it inside. But I just wanted to share these couple of Halloween wreaths with you guys. And just give you some ideas of easy, simple things you can make or add Dollar Tree stuff to. Just make it your own. I just wanted to share with everybody. Um, I enjoy decorating for the holidays, Halloween, Christmas, fall. I actually decorated for fall and then took it down and have come in and decorated for Halloween. So I'd like to share that with you guys too. I just wanted to say thanks for watching my video and have a great day. God bless you guys. Thanks so much.